Greetings, brothers and sisters. I'm trusting, hoping, and believing that all is well on your side. So, brothers and sisters, I'm coming to you with an official statement from the AES with regards to the story that I reported about them threatening to leave AU, even the UN included, if they continue acting like ECOWAS. So, there's a statement here by ministers of foreign affairs from all these three countries just expressing their, themselves on this AU issue and how they feel. It's not good. It's not good what the EU is doing to them. So the foreign ministers of the Confederation of Sahel States, AES, strongly condemn the interference of the African Union Commission in the decision of the three countries to leave ECOWAS. In a joint statement released today, the ministers of foreign affairs of Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger strongly denounced the comments of the African Union Commissioner in charge of political affairs, peace and security, qualifying the withdrawal of their country from ECOWAS as unacceptable. This is inappropriate, untimely and counterproductive position in contrary to the principles, rules and practice of the AU, criticized the ministers. They recall that the withdrawal of Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger is a sovereign decision and is in accordance with the provisions of the revised ECOWAS Treaty. The Sahel countries reaffirm their commitment to the territorial integrity of their member states and to the defense of the vital interests of their populations. They emphasize that any assessment of this sovereign decision constitutes interference in the internal affairs of the member states of the Confederation of Sahel States and a violation of the relevant provisions of the Charter of the United Nations, the Constitutive Act of the African Union and International Law. The Ministers of Foreign Affairs of the Confederation of Sahel States, AES, asked the AU Commission to justify its comments and recall that it did not consider the withdrawal of the previous ECOWAS members unacceptable in 2000. Finally, they reiterate the availability of the Confederation to cooperate with the Commission and other organs of the, Af of the African Union in strict compliance with the sovereign choices of its member states and the text of the Continental Organization. Faced with the seriousness of the situation, the Ministers of Foreign Affairs of the Confederation of the Sahel States call on the intergovernmental political bodies of the African Union to ensure scrupulous respect for the sovereignty of member states. Speaking in one voice, these are the Ministers of Foreign Affairs of the three countries of the AES. They are just condemning the interference of the African union in the decision of the three countries you know it's unfair because it, it, it's not like they are doing something that is illegal they have a right to withdraw they have a right to leave if they want to leave and they are doing it according to the guidelines of ECOWAS treaty or ECOWAS policies they are doing it the right way they they informed ECOWAS they did it formally there's a time that ECOWAS is saying Oh, you can't just wake up and tell us you want to leave. We've not received any formal communication from you guys. They did that. They did it formally. They wrote to ECOWAS. They stated why they want to leave. They stated when they are leaving, everything is clear. Actually, in Jan by January 2025, you know that they will be fully, finally gone. So everything is being done accordingly. And for the AU to come in and say, no, it's not, it's unacceptable. Unacceptable to who? They are doing it according to the way that they have to do it. I mean, sometimes the AU, you know, we have organs such as the AU that, and I keep saying it, these people interfere where they are not even supposed to interfere. Just because you are AU doesn't mean that now you have the sovereign power to say, do this, don't do that, or this is unacceptable, or, this is acceptable. No. We have our own guidelines and rules that guide us as communities, as regional blocks. And if we are doing it the way that we are supposed to, then who is the AU to come in and say it's not correct just because the master said, bring these guys back. I don't even want to delve more into this issue because I've already reported on the matter and I still share the same views that I've shared in my previous video to say the AU and in the United Nations, these bodies, they need to be re-evaluated. In the United Nations Security Council, for example, Africa doesn't even have a seat. We don't even have a say in that thing. When we have issues like security issues in the continent, terrorism, I don't know what, Congo, South Sudan, there's just a lot of issues, brothers and sisters, but we don't have a seat at the table. We don't make decisions. We don't get to vote on issues. We are just as useless as anybody else who's not in that, you know, seat. 
So all we do is to follow their decisions. If they say we go this way, we have to follow. And for Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger to say, you know what, if you continue this way, we leave. I fully support it. And I wish that Africa can wake up to say, why are we even still in these bodies? Because they are not serving us. Let me know, brothers and sisters, what you think in the comment section down below. Please don't forget to like the video, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd also like to support us, buying us a coffee, we have a link in the description box down below. We also have our super thanks, super chat activated. Please also support us in that way and we appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.